Nee, 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 to get the Cabo. That's it, baby. It's all good, bro. It's all good. I did all of that to get to this, brother. And it's all worth it, every minute of it. Now this one, we're gonna have to let it run and get tired because we have a small leader with a tiny little hook. No, that one, that one is a good hook. I see. Yeah, yeah that, that one, one is. A, yeah, this is a hundred pounds. Oh no! Uh, I just lost a selfie. Yeah, well, selfies are really hard to actually catch. Okay, let's jump a little bit because there's a lot. Of Was the drag too tight? No, the drag is good. The drag is good. Yeah. I don't know, maybe had little slack, you know, a couple of times, you know, the jump like crazy. Yeah. Little tight, you know, yeah. and coming in. When they come in, keep reeling. Keep reeling, easy, yeah. Easy, yeah. You know, easy, no, like, not too fast. Easy. Yeah. Yes. It's okay, you gotta wait. Okay, we're, yeah. we're gonna catch more. Yeah, we'll yeah. Find them more. Yeah, more. This is so cool, man. So cool. Cool experience. Best experience. Yeah, the best. This is the best experience. Yeah. Even missing that sailfish, but it's cool because they catch them here all the time, pretty much. And Arturo knows how to get them. So after losing that one, he's like, no, we'll get more. We'll get more. Bob's on bait duty. I'm on bait duty. Bring him to the boat. You may or may not have seen Arturo earlier. He's he's going live quite a bit on Facebook. He's got 60,000 followers, 69,000 followers on Facebook. And he goes live quite a bit every week. So give him a like on Facebook. We'll leave that in the description. You'll get to see what they're doing on a daily weekly basis and they mentioned Felipe is here every like seven days a week sometimes he's got his finger on the pulse of the ocean for sure as soon as we catch a few dorados we're gonna go a little farther uh, deeper see we're about 60 feet deep right now so once we catch a couple of dorados we're gonna go deeper and start looking for marlins marlins have been a little bit more active like around noon so like by noon we should have a couple of dorados on, on, in, on board already and then we'll, we'll go after like marlins. So this is a bridal, guys. You cut the eyes out of the fish. And now it's basically going to create a harness. Uh, for, uh, for marlin, stripe marlin for Dorado. 400 pound test. Hook that, hook that, hook that. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Big, 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 big. It's on the plug, huh? Cabo guys, you gotta do it. Wow, look at that guys, look what it ate that. Hey, that. Must bit it. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Number 11 guys, 11 Dorado. Epic day guys, epic day. Two more, we got a limit. Still on the hunt for Marlin. Big one may just show up. We'll see what happens here guys. We got a little more time, stay tuned. They just saw some birds. We're heading that way. They call them frigates. Frigate? Yeah. Frigate bird. Okay, uh, give me one uh, The bigger one? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Savage. <laughs> okay. So Felipe spotted the marlin and now he's got a horse max on. I saw, I saw. Oh, I see him, I see him. It's right there. Straight in front, straight in front. I went away. Okay. That's too 
Entonces dejo las cosas allá atrás. Sí, a ver, déjale allá atrás. ¿Cómo te va a entrar? Ok. Good job, Felipe. So, so far we already got a uh, like seven Dorados and we're fighting a strike mark and that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to catch uh, a few Dorados for dinner and then uh, we got a little bit farther out. We're up actually about 300 feet deep and we have Ed now uh, fighting a strike mark. No. He's bleeding. We're gonna to have to put that one on board. He's bleeding way too much. Yeah, he's bleeding. Easy, easy, Pull down, Take line, guys. Take line. What a beast, what a beast. We saw this one right on top of the water. I got close to it and Felipe cast a nice uh, light bait to it and hooked it. 99.9. Hey, how you doing? Oh, it's a good fight. We already hooked up a uh, few of the rides today and now we're fighting a strike market. And since uh, the, the, the fish are really close to shore, I'll, I'll, I'm able to go live, which is pretty cool. Good time with it. No oh, rush. Things. There ain't no rush. Fire her out. It's a powerful fish. Very, Very powerful fish. fish. Very powerful. Where is it? There she is. It's like when you have the control, easy. You know, you you just bring it in. All the time, straight to the line. Pass it over to the engine. Oh my gosh. She's taking line. Taking line. She's taking more line. Still running on you? Yeah. We've been fighting it for about an hour now. Wow, shit. Oh, yeah. it, feel, it feels like it. <laughs> feels like an hour. It's a powerful fish. Such a powerful fish. Jeez, guys, yeah. Right when you think they're tired, they make another run. We followed that bird, the freakish bird, and then, and then you saw it. On Pamela. Pamela! That's the name of this boat. The Pamela. 28 foot. It's got dual Yamahas. This outfit is definitely capable. The water's in the 80s. And this baby just ate a horse mackerel. There she is. Right under, under. Oh no, 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 no. No. Okay, okay. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay. Wow. She's taking light right now. We'll hold, hold a little bit like this. 
Oh, this would not be possible without Felipe. Yeah. None of it. We're on the motor. Get her on that motor. These things. These things have so much stamina. There it is. There it is. Marlin. That's a catch. Woo, Felipe! It's still kind of strong. Still fresh, huh? Wait. Hold the belly. Hold the belly. There we go. I hold the bench. Wow. Okay, go in the back. It's yeah. guts. It's guts are hanging out. Yeah, he's a, he's a, yeah, yeah. You put it back in. It'll go in. Okay. Yeah. This time, this time, in 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 trapeador. Para meterle la 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 esta estilo va a meter el el buche para adentro. Cállate. Hand him what? The mop? Yeah. Here you go, sir. Okay, put it in the, in the, the belly. Yeah, all the way in. Okay. Yes. All the way inside. Okay, take it out. Take it out. Take it out fast. Okay. Yeah, take it out. 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 So, yeah, that, they keep bleeding a lot. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, it's, it's, it's bleeding, bleeding a lot, it's yeah. We keep it. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, she, she's bleeding a lot. Yeah. Okay, so we just got a margin. Uh, we're yeah. gonna have to harvest this one, unfortunately. It's just, you know, it's just bleeding a lot. Yeah. And it's just, uh, passed away, I guess. So, uh, usually we release them. We're Try to release all our marlins, but it's okay. This one uh, is gonna have to go to to our freezers. <laughs> <laughs> Bob was just saying at the end of the day that was all Felipe man. Oh yeah, I was definitely fatiguing and the fish started going under the motor. Felipe is like, hand me the rod. He jumps over the railing, gets the tip around and under, and it was perfect. And we were able to successfully land that fish, but that fish was really bleeding bad and the energy wasn't coming even if we were towing her behind the boat a little bit to try to get water through her gills it was uh not the right thing to do to let her go she would have died out there anyway so um that fish will feed a lot of people tag cabo guys tag cabo i need subscribers on youtube channel so <laughs> subscribe to our youtube channel too yeah if you found this interesting like up this video because it'll help in the algorithm and also subscribe to them and it'll connect the channels and he should get better and more views because gosh the way that they work they put you on fish and it's beautiful because they're passionate about it and to them it's not work it's amazing these are our type of people right here and th these are the remora right here there's remora that were on this billfish these things have suckers on the top of their head and they hang out on these pelagic fish how many how many pounds do you think she is that's about like uh, 150, 160 pounds. 150, 160 pounder? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that's some power, dude. Yeah. That is some power. First time ever. Yeah. First yeah. billfish. All because of Felipe. Yeah, man. Get in here, Felipe. This is Felipe. Tag Cabo. Arturo's over there. Bob, this is, this is a story we'll never forget. This is something we'll remember forever. Striped Marlin, brother. Woo. Yeah. Tag Cabo. Tag Cabo. 99.9 .9 guaranteed. 99.9 .9 guaranteed, he says. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. So Mr. Arturo does have somewhere to be here pretty soon. So just wanted to say thank you, brother, for well, thank you guys for coming on. over. That was amazing. Thank you for coming with us. It was a pleasure having you guys on board, and you guys are fun. <laughs> you guys are fun to kick it with. You guys have a, a, a passion for fishing as well, so that's pretty cool. 
I love fishing with people that have a passion like 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 I do or like we do. Because Felipe has a nice, a good passion for these two as well. Yeah, and Felipe, Felipe was nonstop Anna. all day, hey. all day. What's up, guys? Yeah, he has ojos for the pesca. Yeah, ojos <laughs> for everything. They hooked us up because you guys watch, and it's all because of you guys too. So we appreciate you. We love you. We're glad that we can do things like this while we vacation with our wives. It's just amazing. We'll always remember it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a like. Hey, epic day, okay. guys. Epic. Tech Cabo, come down and visit these guys. They are going to put you on fish. Okay, Simon, Simon. Yep.